What's up guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Um, before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, do you, because I'm gonna do me. Let's, no, I was about to say that wrong. Anyways, um, I wanted to talk about um, our current times and why right now is sort of um, a great time to start that thing that you want it to for so long. Number one, as we all know, we're quarantined, uh, coronavirus is running rampant. Um, and we are pretty much on lockdown. With that, a lot of people have lost their jobs, but they're able to still collect unemployment and in addition to that, $600 um, on, on top of that. Right now is not the time to go out spending money, um, doing a bunch of online shopping, um, I mean, if you if you have the money, some people do have money and they can do that. I'm not talking to those people. I'm talking about the people who, um, you know, have always wanted to do something outside of their nine to five. Start budgeting that check. And even if you aren't able to 100% throw it into your business, start taking the baby steps necessary in order to get it going. So, uh, for example, with my uh, fulfillment by Amazon business, I started by um, watching YouTube videos. Um, I found, I watched a bunch of different people, some I liked, some I didn't like, and when I got to the people I did like, um, I went through their channel and watched all of their free videos, which gave me little snippets of education um, and pushed me to the next step and brought in my horizon on what I had to do um, next. So start watching YouTube videos from there. Um, if you find someone you like, uh, if they have a course, don't be afraid to invest in that course. Um, I know it's it's sort of, courses aren't the traditional route for most people. Um, typically you think of going to college or taking a class where you sit in or you're online and you're able to talk with um, whoever that teacher is. Um, but there is a lot of value in courses. I literally learned this whole Amazon business, not the whole thing, but the meat and bones of it um, by buying a course, um, which I actually did twice, one for real estate and then one for um, fulfillment by Amazon. Both were around $500 each, um, but it was also something that I had to be brave enough to do. Um, at the time, I felt like I didn't have the money to, and I was afraid that if I invested in it and it didn't give me a return, that it would have been a waste of $500. But then I thought to myself, I'd spend $500 on a whole lot of things that will never give me a re return on my investment. And it actually probably messed, <laughs> messed up my life a little, like going out, partying, drinking, those kind of things. That's still an investment. You just aren't getting the best return on it. Um, anyways, that's number one. Um, number two, this kind of tagged teens into um, that first one of finding, you know, YouTube videos and courses. Find mentors right now. Right now is a great time to reach out to people. They have the time to, you know, give you guidance on things that you need help with. Um, even today, I am working on my second product for Amazon, and it took me a couple hours to actually get the motivation to start. N not even to start, to do like the actual. Uh, task of reaching out to the suppliers and I don't know why I've done this already but for some reason I just wasn't feeling motivated so what I did was um, one of the youtubers I subscribed to she uploaded a video and it just so happened to align I thought it aligned with what I was feeling and um, she was explaining the negatives of of Amazon um, and I thought it was gonna speak directly to me and it, it didn't speak directly to me but it gave me the motivation that I needed um, to actually reach out and take that next step. So it may not always be a direct message to you, but listening to some like an encouraging person um, speak about their story or, you know, finding someone to directly help you and you telling them your problems, this is the time to do that. All we have is time. Um, reduce your news intake. Uh, I don't think I've watched the news or been involved in politics. Um, more than the last uh, nine months to a year in my entire life. And it literally drove me crazy. Um, but one of the things I did, once Bernie Sanders dropped out, 
I, I pretty much checked out from all of that because um, mentally I'm like these people are saying the same thing they're doing the same thing and it's just driving me crazy so stop driving yourself crazy reduce your news intake um, and start filling yourself up with things that are actually going to help you um, get to the next point um, right now is also a great time to read a book um, and working out a lot of people are <laughs> my Instagram is filled with workout videos like you can pick anybody they will help you during this time to you know start getting your body together there are a bunch of home cooking videos where you can start learning how to cook for yourself which will save you money once this quarantine is over um, but I actually talked to my mom this morning and she was telling me her routine um, which I'm gonna start implementing once I like, get back to New Jersey I'll get back to that um, but she's essentially gonna be reading a chapter a day of a book um, she's gonna be doing you know a 30 minute workout um, she's gonna be putting X amount of time into this uh, really just scheduling where she's spending her time and choosing the best investments for this point um, to circle back going back to New Jersey so I've been in LA for about seven weeks now and it's kind of put a pause on sort of the things that I was working on. Um, shout out to Stacey and Gail for allowing uh, Michael and I to stay at your home for this long. Like, greatly appreciate you. Like, I love you guys so much. Um, but when I get back to uh, New Jersey, I'm, I'm using this time. I leave on Sunday. Today's Wednesday. Um, these next few days to start writing my agenda of what I need to get done step by step and planning out what I want my days to look like when I get home. Um, that's another thing. Plan out your days. Don't just roll out of bed with with no agenda. Um, that's one of the things most successful people, wealthy people say you must have uh, great habits. So the night before you go to bed, write up an agenda of what you want to do the next day. Make sure you stick to that to-do list and check it off one item at a time. Do not get over, or you're going to get overwhelmed, but um, you know, if you have a checklist, that sort of alleviates some of that pressure of, you know, being stuck in limbo, not knowing what to do and feeling like the time is just passing you by and you are frustrated and ready to go outside. Um, so make a to-do list. Um, and then, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's what I want to cover. Um, I'm trying to take notes now so I don't ramble. I recorded this a second time because the first one I was like, blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, that's all I have. Hope you guys are staying encouraged and motivated and um, really using this time. Uh, because it is valuable. Um, don't be that person who l looks back when this quarantine ends and say, what was I doing? Because that's that's gonna happen for 99% of people. They're gonna look back and, and feel like they wasted this whole time when you really could be taking steps to move yourself forward and um, continue to tackle your goals. But love you guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe, stay motivated, and I'll be back. Later, peace.